In this video, you will learn about basic editing of the ornament of a monogram template. You may wish to edit the ornaments that are added to a monogram template that you have chosen from the Design tab. Click on the Ornament tab to make changes to the ornament. You can add, delete, or change an ornament. We're going to click on Add and select From Patterns. You can see that you can choose From Patterns or From Designs. When I click on From Patterns, a dialog box opens and I can choose among different folders in this dialog box. I'm going to choose Monogram Ornaments. If I want to see what these ornaments are going to look like in actual stitches, I can click on Show True View. If I want to deactivate, I show as outlines. I'll scroll to find the ornament I wish to add, and I will select it and click OK. The ornament doesn't immediately appear on screen because the software is waiting for me to tell it where I want it to be placed. I can choose the sides, the top, or at the four corners. If I don't like where the ornament was placed, I can click on Undo and go back and select that same ornament. Click on the Advanced tab, and I can choose to position it at the corners. The first position that is checked is the anchor ornament, and what you do to that ornament will affect the other ornament that it is combined with. The anchor ornament is designated by the red square. After selecting the position, I can make additional changes, such as to the margin, and this will influence how far the ornaments are from the lettering. To delete an ornament, I select it from the Ornament tab and press Delete, and this will eliminate that ornament. If I want to change an ornament, I can select the monogram and click on Change. This time, let's choose from Design, and the ornament that I'm going to add is from the Floral and Garden, and it is called Lace Flowers. I select it and click on Open. There are many different patterns and designs that you can choose from. You'll notice that the ornaments were placed in the original position in the design template. If I want to change that, I can uncheck and check a new place or keep them as they were in the original ornament. If I want to move them closer to the lettering, I can choose to move them closer or further away by using the arrows in the margin. I can also change the size of the ornament and proportions are locked by default. So if I decrease the width, it's gonna also decrease the height of the ornament. So you'll see, even if you start with the basic template, you can edit the ornament in the template. 